Have I ever told you the first time I was ever rejected? It is a it is the it is the worst story I have to tell anyone, dude. Because not only did I get rejected, I I made it worse and it was super cringe. Where's your girlfriend? <laughs> I was super young, all right. This is like this is there's no such thing as dating right like when you're in elementary or like middle school there's only things like oh i like this person or i have a crush on this person you know they're, 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 you can't really date at that age it doesn't it doesn't add up so in first grade uh it was my first time at a public school because i went to a private school uh for, for kindergarten or not kindergarten yeah preschool i didn't have any friends in uh in first grade because well, I don't, I don't know if anyone does, to be honest, but it was, it was, it was a public school and I've never been in a public school before. And uh, there's this girl I met. We'll call her, uh, we'll call her Sarah. Okay, Sarah. So she was super nice. She was super kind. I, I'm, I mostly remembered her a lot because her eyes, her eyes were very like unique. It was like very distinctly like sparkly. Uh, we, we became friends. We became really good friends. It was, it was going great, you know? uh we were friends from first grade all the way to fifth grade you know and it was it was great we hung out we were in the same friend group we played at recess you know it was it was, it was awesome we became really close friends at the end of fifth grade there was like a celebration and you get like promoted to like sixth grade middle school and so and we eventually went to the same middle school and that was great news to me i i was i was crushing on her for like five years and I, I was a, I was a complete chicken. I mean, like, I also thought to myself, what is the point of telling her if, like, you know, there's not really, I, I, I didn't even know the concept of dating. That wasn't even a thing. And so, sixth grade came along. Uh, we were still, we were kind of friends. We didn't really talk anymore. Classes were different because you don't have one teacher. You have like different classes to walk to and go to your lockers and stuff. Unfortunately, none of our classes lined up in sixth grade, so we grew kind of distant. And, you know, sometimes that happens in life, but we still kept in touch. We had each other's phone numbers. <laughs>
The classic friend zone. The classic friend zone. I break the news to my friends. The huddle we have goes aw. And you know, the huddle slowly breaks away and walks away, you know. And I sat where I kept sitting and just looked at my phone and was like, damn. And you know, one option would be to accept it, you know, accept rejection. Me? No, I couldn't handle it. Being 11 years old in middle school, I said, no, I won't accept that. I don't like this. This is bad. This is dumb. I feel bad. I feel embarrassed and I hate everything. And so guess what I said? Guess what I said back? I said, JK, LOL. I said, JK, LOL. That's not the worst part. The worst part is, none of my friends know this. None of my friends know I said, JK, LOL. They only know the part where I got rejected. I did not tell them. I, None of my friends IRL to this day know I said JK LOL on that day. And she said, oh, you're just kidding? And I was like, yeah, LOL. And she said, okay, lol. And we moved on. I didn't speak for her for like probably the rest of the year. And after lunch, I went to my art class I had and just sat there and just with my head on the table, not wanting to do anything. And I don't think I've ever even spoken to her about it since then. We were friends in high school. We went to a lot of parties together. We were still friends in a friend group. We hung out a lot, uh, but it was just never brought up again. It was just never brought up ever again. <laughs> and that is my first experience of quote unquote rejection. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't do that. Especially if you're older than the age of 11, you should probably accept it, not play it off as a joke because that's cringe. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's uh, that's the story. Uh, lesson learned from it? Uh, there is no lesson. It was just cringe. It was just... It, it, that's it. That's really it.